person. Welcome to this place. Hello, person. Welcome to this place. You are now tuned into the sounds of... It's Vision Radio. Yes, yes, yes. What's going on? It's Dave Colombo Jenkins, and I'm here with Martine. How are you, Martine? I'm okay. <laughs> and Frank is here. Hello. Yes, Frank. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, what have we got coming up first? Yeah, well, uh, um, we have obviously released uh, the f- third and final Noisia album last week. And uh, also, there's a. Uh, a uh, uh, recorded live stream up uh, from last weekend where we played our last Noisy Invite show in Amsterdam. So go check that out if you haven't already. And we're playing one of the uh, new collaborations on the al- from the album with Imanu. Um, it's called Shift and it's... Um, well, there's there's a, a story about this track uh, that you can... Uh, uh, you, you, you will be able to find at some point uh, when a lovely uh, Dave here <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, asked us uh, about many of the album stuff uh, in an uh, in a cinema setting, yeah, where yeah. we did a nice little interview. It was pretty epic, actually. It was the longest interview I think we've done for a very long time, and one of the very last interviews. So keep your eyes out for that, listeners. <laughs> Obviously, big up Noisier because we've got another Noisier tune now, another one from Closer. This one is Shutters. So, what's the story behind this one, Martin? Um, it was uh, originally a contender for Outer Edges, but uh, it, we felt like it didn't quite fit in in the final track listing. It was up on the track list up until the very last moment, actually. Uh, and wow, we still liked it so much that we thought it deserved a place in the world awesome 
Next, we've got DLR and Bray collaborating on yet another amazing roller. Uh, it's called Absolutely True because that statement I just made was absolutely true. No, but it's, <laughs> abs- it's called Absolutely True because they named it Absolutely True. It is. But it was also Absolutely True. And, I, I'll, <laughs> and that's a fact. I'll go ahead and make this the, the, the post-I cosign of this week. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Absolutely true. It's absolutely true. 
tight the break, hold tight the DLR, what a collaboration, and now on to an act who used to be a collaboration but is now a solo act, it is Jam Thieves, with the fittingly titled Amsterdam, being as I was out there with you guys last weekend. Um, yeah, this is coming out on Dub Elements label, D-E-M, loving this, quite understated and dubby, loving it. Time for some hoost. hoost. Yeah. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a, a, not an easy one. It's a, actually a pretty, pretty uh, extreme yeah. track. Mm. Bare knuckle scrap with Stevie. What a yep. title! I actually um, emailed Hurst to see who um, Stevie, Stevie was. was and yeah. He hasn't got back to me, and I said in the email, if he doesn't get back to me in time, and I did only email him last night about this, <laughs> I was going to say it was Stevie Wonder. Yeah. So Hurst is having bare knuckle scraps with Stevie Wonder, who actually turned 72 on May the 13th um, <laughs> on the last ever Noiser invites. It's a nice little link there, but um, so please don't, if he don't doesn't, beat if up he doesn't, old uh, musicians. Yeah, if, if he doesn't reply, does that mean that Stevie won? <laughs> oh, uh, Stevie won. Yeah, it does. That's why I threatened. I said that I'd reveal all in this re- scandalous episode of Vision Radio. First beats up elderly legendary musicians. There you go. There's your fact for the day. <laughs>
Yeah. So earlier on, we had Absolutely True from DLR and Break, and now Gyrofield is coming along with The Lie for a nice little bit of balance. Um, <laughs> I think this is completely unreleleased. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, it, oh, no, it's coming out on Overview. Yes. There we go. Um, yeah, but it's something brand new from Gyrofield, which is always amazing. And uh, yeah, it's a real nice, beautiful balance between dark and light, as always. Um, absolutely loving Gyrofield. Big up. Big up. Big up the gyro field and big up uh, the overview uh, crew for releasing uh, this EP. It's uh, some more cool music on there, mm. which we'll probably uh, play to you later <laughs> in later episodes. Yes. Um, up next, more overview music. It's uh, Wings and Submarine collaborating 
and it's called Kernschmelze. Yeah. So that, yeah, that doesn't sound too good. <laughs> no man, nuclear meltdown. Yeah. I did my yeah yeah I did my translation services on this. Big up the wings and submarine. No, not big up anybody who's into nuclear meltdowns though. Really, <laughs> not up for them. <laughs> got something really interesting on Yuku um, this is Imaginary Number which is an anonymous act we may know them we may not know them we may not know if it's a individual or a duo or a male or a female or anything like that it's all about letting the music do the talking and these two steps definitely do the talking and I love the little pitched up voice the track's called Somebody as you might be able to tell from the vocal doesn't necessarily sound very consonant but that's no. the track title consonant by objective 
Um, this is on Eku. Shout out to all fans of the UK Game Show Countdown as well. And anybody who's just into consonants. And, and people who speak the Welsh language as well. Loads of consonants in that. <laughs> you know that consonant is also a, a, a musical term, right? Consonant and dissonant. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I am a, kind of aware of that, but you'd have to explain it. Is it really long and complicated or can you summarize it very quickly for the purposes of radio? Uh, no, Dave. Something from the mustachioed wonder that is ways following um, the awesome two note wonder on critical um, comes this real stinky little fellow. It's called Patched, and you'll find it on Overview. Big up the ways. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, moving on to uh, Hot Pot by Deft on 2020.
So thank you very much, Deft, for um, Hot Pot. And I actually, I did a little bit of um, Dutch research. So let me see if I got this right, because I looked up um, what a, the Dutch Hot Pot would be. And obviously you've got Dutch ovens and stuff like that, haven't you? And like Dutch pots that people are cooking. And I think Hatchy, is that right? Is it Hatchy? Is Hache. that, or is that, am I Hache. it right? Hache. Hache. Mm-hmm. Hache. <laughs> is that like a kind of Hot Pot, like a kind of a Dutch casserole? A stew, you mean? Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, go. exactly what it is. Yeah. Cool. Tune in for more Dutch cooking in a future <laughs> episode. But in the meantime, we've got Karma Sink on um, Pavan's Dark Mode label. This one is called Noir. Time for some hard stuff on Eat Brain, and uh, you can enjoy this with another Dutch snack uh, like bitterballen, <laughs> bitter Ooh. balls, uh, to be enjoyed with a bit of mustard. Um, or uh, if you're uh, more into the sweet stuff, we also got poffertjes, which <laughs> are little pancakes. Oh, uh, poffertjes! Yeah, I like that. And uh, the track is called Comeback by Nuvertal and Ghidra and uh, th- that's obviously uh, way less important than learning about poffertjes and uh, <laughs> bitter balls no but um, big up Nuvertal and Ghidra poffertjes big up poffertjes <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nuvital and Ghidra. Um, and yeah, now now time for my Yemach of the week. It is a Yemach, a huge Yemach um, from something, something. Um, this is called aluminium. Oh, no, no. This is called aluminium. Um, yeah. But if you're British. It's American. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Do you say aluminium in Dutch or do you yes, say aluminium? Yes, we do. Aluminium. Yeah, yeah. Aluminium. There we go. Um, yeah, but anyways, my Yamuk. I don't say aluminium or aluminium. I say Yamuk because this is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So I'm going to stop talking over it. Big up something, something. a lot of energy yes it's uh yeah especially in this combination red pill jealousy Pythias remix or Pythias as we say in, in the Dutch Pythias uh, on blackout um yeah all the way really nice loving this the Pythias and now something very Amanu-esque um, it's an emotional rattler from Spanish producer Sastruga um, I, um, and I think like I don't really know much about the release but I can tell you Sastruga is the name for wave-like shapes that um, become snow drifts and big planes but in Spanish it also translates to Taylor um, and he's certainly got this track sewn up <laughs> <laughs> it's got, and what's the, what's the track called? Oh, it's called searching. Thank you very much. I need to do my job properly. And what does that mean in Spanish? <laughs> Surveillance. <laughs> <laughs>
buscando. There you go. That's Spanish for searching. <laughs> Thank you, Google Translate. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, we've been playing a lot of John Casey, and we're yeah. st- we still have more for you guys. We still do. It's John Casey and Alucci. Uh, this is Schizo. up the John Casey each and every time. Um, So here's a nice bit of remix synergy now on Data Records. Last week we played a Moitra remix of Sober Soul Um, and now time for the flip. We've got a Sober Soul remix of Moitra. This one is called Alpha.
This is Des McMahon. McMahon. McMahon? McMahon. The main man. Des McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> Collaborating with Gabriel Habit. This is rinsed in Resida. Yeah, really, and I'd just really like cool. to say there are other LA neighborhoods where you can also do alliterated encounters like hammered in Hollywood, <laughs> punched in Pasadena, <laughs> or no Daved in Newport Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much to um, all of our Patreon subscribers, um, everybody on Discord and everybody who supports the show in general, but especially your Patreon crew, because you vote for the reload each and every time. And it is, of course, Skrillex, Noisia, Josh Pan and Dylan Brady with Supersonic VIP. And I've got to shout out Tice um, and everybody who was in room one in Melkweg last Friday. Uh, this was the final tune. And during the breakdown, Tice got everybody to shout out No Dave. Um, and it was a <laughs> mind blowing moment for me and the whole set and the whole night was mind blowing um, and this tune will always remind me of that and also remind me of um, the noisy invites of Printworks as well um, and just yeah it's it's an amazing song and it's a very worthy reload have you got anything to say my time uh, no Dave <laughs> thanks <laughs> you said it all brilliant <laughs> Yay. 
Thank you for voting for the reload. Um, and we have some more music this week. LVB with Olympia, for example, which is the track playing in the background. It's coming out on Holographic, and we're going to listen to it. <laughs> Time to time we'll put thoughts into your head. Thank you very much, LVB. Um, and now, yeah, for something a bit different from Fracture and Sam Binger. Uh, we've been loving their album Amura lately, all electro vibes and a really, really interesting creative concept behind the whole album. We've played a few tunes, we've not played this one yet. It's called Conditional. Big up Fracture and Sam Binger.
right. That brings us to uh, this week's last track of the episode. Um, we got one more. We want to thank everyone for listening, doing everything they do on a daily basis, related yes. or unrelated to Vision Recordings, but mostly related to Vision Recordings. Thank you for that. And also thanks for everything else. <laughs> so we've got um, we've got one more. Bully and Celo Logica. Celo Logica. Breathe in a remix by Omari Jazz. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody. We will see you next week. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. Yo, let's do the no, Dave. This might even get a yes, Dave. All right. Yo, can we build a time machine and relive Friday night? Ooh. Ooh, tempting. Mm, maybe, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow, a maybe, Dave. Never had a maybe, Dave, before. Brilliant.